Let's take a look at the probability questions. All of these are non-calculator. So George rolls a standard fair six-sided die. What's the probability he rolls an even number? Well, we have the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. So of them, three are even, so that is three out of six, otherwise known as one half. Odd is also th three out of six, so that is also one half. And what's the probability he rolls a square number? Well, one is a square number and four is a square number. One times one, two times two. So that's two out of six, otherwise known as one third. Question number two, Jill's selling 20 shirts, five blue, eight white, three red, the rest are black. What's the probability of choosing a red shirt at random? Well, out of the 20, three are red. So that's simply three out of 20. What's the probability of choosing black or white? So we know that eight are white. We need to work out how many are black first of all. If there's 20 in total, eight plus three is 11, plus five is 16. So four must be black. So black or white is gonna be eight plus four, which is 12 out of 20, otherwise known as six out of 10, otherwise known as three out of five. But I believe the answer 12 twentieths is accepted. Question three, Brandon's three types of sandwiches, six ham and cheese, 10 BLTs and four tunas. So in total, there are 20 sandwiches. So the probability of picking a BLT is 10 out of 20, which is the same as one out of two, a half. If he picks one at random, what is the probability he chooses a BLT or a ham? So BLT or a ham and cheese is, um, 16 out of the 20, so the probability is 16 out of 20, otherwise known as 8 tenths or 4 fifths. Question number four, Alicia has a box of newborn puppies. What's the probability she chooses a black Labrador? Well, in total, we're talking about three, seven, eight. So of the eight, how many are black Labradors? Three, so the probability is three out of eight. And the golden retriever is just one golden retriever, so that is one eighth. Question number five. So we know that in total, Zacharia has got 40 marbles in total. So the probability of grabbing a red is 30 out of the 40, which can be broken down to three quarters. And the probability of uh, white is, um, well, zero, because there are, um, she only has 30 red and 10 blue. So the probability she grabs a white marble is zero. Question number six. So there are 37 numbers available. There's a green zero and the rest are red and black. So what's the probability of getting a red number? So it's not 50-50 because of this uh, irritating one green one. So um, out of the 37, if we, if we get rid of the green zero, that means there's 36 numbers left and they are split evenly red and black. So 36 divided by two is 18. So the probability of getting a red number is 18 out of 37. 6B, an American roulette wheel has 38 numbers. So it's got an extra green one, which is the double zero. So it has the probability of landing on a green double. Well, originally on the European, it was the probability of landing on greens one out of 37. And uh, the probability of landing on a green on the American one is two out of 38 and two out of 38 is not double one out of 37. Double one out of 37 is two out of 37, not two out of 38. So no, it has not doubled. Um, so which style of roulette wheel has a higher probability of landing on black? Well, on the European, uh, the probability of red is also the same as the probability of black. So um, European is going to be 18 out of 37. Whereas with the American one, due to the extra green one, that's going to be 18 out of 38. So the probability is marginally higher in the European there. Question number seven, what is the probability that the choice is a midfielder? So there are 20 players out of the 20 how many are midfielders? It was nine to 16, so that's nine, 10, so nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, and 16. Let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 8 out of the 20. 4 out of 10. 2 out of 5. Um, any of these answers is acceptable. And the probability of a forward. So that's 17, 18, 19, and 20, which is 4 out of 20, which is the same as 2 out of 10 or 1 out of 5. Again, all these answers are perfectly acceptable. Question number 8. Abigail and Harry are playing a game where they shout a number from 1 to 20 at the same time and if they shout the same number or two numbers that sum to 20 they lose. So if Abigail chooses the number 11 what is the probability of losing? So Abigail will lose if Harry says 11 which is the same number or if um, he shouts 9 as well so therefore the probability is he shout two numbers out of the 20 that would cause Abigail to lose and two out of 20 can also be written as one out of 10. If Harry chooses a number 10 then the probability of losing is only one out of 20 because the only um, number that will cause him to lose is if Abigail also shouts the number 10 and only 10 will work. Question number nine um, so we need to mark on the probability scale the probability of getting ahead when you're tossing a coin, assuming it's a fair coin, so that's 50-50, so 0 0.5. That tomorrow will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday, well that is 100% guaranteed, so we'll put that on 1. On a random day in the UK in March there will be snow. Uh, well, I suppose we, we don't get an awful lot of snow in the UK so I know we if we're going to get snow it's a good chance it's going to be in March but generally there are fewer snowy days than there are uh, non-snowy days so I would probably mark this anywhere you know it's not like it has to be exactly this spot anywhere sort of in this vague area I'm sure will be ex acceptable perhaps even if you stretch that a bit more. Uh, dinosaurs come back to life uh, I would say that is impossible some people might argue it's perhaps there's a minuscule chance in which case you could maybe move the arrow you know, a, a quarter of a millimeter to the right perhaps but I think that should be firmly on zero and on any given day in November there will be rain in your town well I am say that's not 100% certain but it's pretty close so I would say put it as tight to the one as you feel is um, um, acceptable. It's definitely much closer to 1 than it would be to 0 0.5, that's for sure. 